Okay, youngins. This is bloggy time. Grandpa's favorite time, because this is my channel, that I can say and do whatever I want. Today, I want to thank Miss Dorothy Williams. I'm going to tell you something. It's not often you meet a politician who cares about her community. Dorothy Williams, excuse me, Mrs. Dorothy Williams, Councilwoman Williams, let me show her respect now, because that's respect. Anytime you got a, a council person, you, you give them the respect, you call them that. You call them Mr. Mayor. You know, she has gotten in the middle of this thing. I called her this morning, and we had a long talk. And she informed me that she is not for this, this trailer park being taken away from us. That the city of North Charleston was going to do whatever they could to make sure this stays apart. Now, Ms. Williams, in all due respect, I trust you. I trust our mayor. Because he's a good guy. He really is. I know I might have said some things, but that was the heat of the moment talking. When you're talking about taking somebody's home and putting them in the street, what do you want me to do? Sit here and say, gee, thank you, may I please have another? And as like Councilwoman Williams said, I should have got my facts straight. But I thought I did, and some of them I still think I'm right on, but time will tell. Come the 10th of May, we're going to know for sure. That's when everything comes up before y'all. I'm going to trust the mayor. I'm going to trust Councilwoman Williams. Because I know they want to do the right thing by the citizens of this trailer park. But see, I don't think this trailer park is going to be here. And it's not going to be because of the mayor or the city. They're going to do what they got to do. They're going to say, no, they can't do it right now. But I think what them jerks are going to do is evict everybody, have an open, open land. Then they can pretty much do what they want. I think they're even going to try to screw the mayor and the city and council on that. But beside the point, the mayor, the city council, the zoning people, man, thank God for them people. They stood up. They said no. Stop calling City Hall, youngers. Let's give them, let's give them their kudos. Leave them alone. Let, let them get back to running the city now. And let me get back to finding out what's going to happen with my home. Because we got a company running around now passing out brochures that they will move our homes for free if we qualify to fit in their parks. My trailer's not because it's 30 years old. That's the side point. Grandpa come up. He always comes up. Miss Williams, I know you're going to watch this because you told me you were. Hey, man, you need to go out lunch one day, lady. Ooh, yeah. I bet that'd be fun. We're going to find someplace good to eat, me and you. Grandpa always likes to be seen with them good-looking women. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Williams. Mr. Mayor, I'm sorry. I hope I can work with the city in any way I can to get this taken care of. And I will be there May 10th. Thank you, youngest. Quit calling City Hall now. Thank you. Bye.